Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Justin Sarachik, the editor-in-chief of Rapzilla.com. And right in front of me, I have Big Nick. You may know him from Vine. You may know him from YouTube. You may know him as a rapper. You may know him as a guy who gets in front of churches and spills his guts out on his testimony. You might know him from a lot of different things because he's done a lot of different things. <laughs> uh, so, Big Nick, man, what's what's going on? It's nice to connect with you and, and learn about your story. And, you know, I'd love to share everything that's going on in your life with the Rapzilla audience. Sure. Yeah, man. Well, dude, great to meet you. I'm really glad to be on here. And um, yeah, you know, I'm just I reached out to you today because I plan on dropping a an EP soon, like a gospel rap album. So Basically, what's really going on with me now is like I'm just taking the music that I used to make, which was more secular, and I'm trying to like give it the same vibe, but I'm trying to obviously spread the gospel with it because, you know, Jesus woke me up. You know what I mean? Like back in the uh, summer of 2020. So I've just been, you know, focused on spreading the gospel, but still trying to integrate it in a way where I yeah. would use content. You know, this is just going to be. A new journey for me but i feel like i was meant to be on this journey you know what i mean yeah yeah so we're we're gonna help welcome you into the space because there are so many dope artists out there and many of these artists make even better music than what you're gonna find on the radio or in the mainstream and they and they do it for the reasons that you're looking to do it as well to proclaim the gospel to to be a witness to inspire to to just have great testimony over their lives. So, so my first, my first question for you is, um, you know, we don't often see big influencers so bold about their faith or converting to Christianity, like out of the fame. It usually happens kind of the other way around where they start as a Christian and then you slowly fade away and you're like, ah, oh, I knew, I knew this person would let it get to them and you know, they yeah. forget. So, are there are there others uh, like you in in the space, and and how much of a culture shift do you think would occur if more content creators said, "Hey, let's just channel all of our energy into making content for for God"? Yeah, I don't really know that many. I mean, there's this one, like unless they're outspoken Christian creators. I mean, there's this one TikTok influencer, Ashley Newman. I know that she's. She's a Christian as well. Um, she's made like a few videos on it, but that's not mostly her brand. But really, like any other influencer, I don't really know any that are really bold in the faith or even believe at all. It, to be honest, the influencer yeah. space is a very godless space, you know? Mm -hmm. It's mostly centered around like vanity and, and, you know, how can I better myself rather than how can I you know, better the kingdom or expand the kingdom of God. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and what, what can I do on camera to get the most reaction or views or, you know, shock value right. from, from people? Exactly. Um, yeah. So I, I watched a video you put out a couple months ago, you know, called what happened to big Nick, where you talked about wanting to sing and then you started making rap music. And now that rap is about Jesus. So, have, right. have you found this as the most helpful way to kind of let your thoughts on your faith come out, especially since you're, you know, you're kind of dealing with a lot of this stuff for the first time. So it's just like, let's yeah. throw it out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's great. I mean, the, this EP that I made, I was able to just really get everything out there. Right. That's what music is. It's self-expression. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've been preaching the gospel on TikTok as well, but I haven't been right. able to do in an artistic way until recently. And so the whole thing with this EP that I'm going to drop soon is like, this is the first time. I mean, I made already a gospel song called hope, which is my first one, but this is the right. first project that I'm dropping. And it's the first like time I've ever really made a project thinking like, okay, this isn't for me. Like this is for Jesus. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I'm just blessed to be able to have, the talent that God gave me in order to display that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, is it is it kind of hard to move forward on things like this without people thinking that everything is a skit or scripted or or for attention? Like, for instance, like you're not the first content creator who's like, hey, you know what? I'm going to rap. 
like you have the Paul brothers <laughs> rapped and did songs and you have yeah. so many other people. So not, not only are you now starting to rap, you're like, my rap's about God. Uh, yeah. So what, what's that whole like dynamic been like? Yeah. I mean, a lot of influencers got into the music thing for the views, but I'm more right. in it for the, you know what I mean? I love music. I've been, I've been in men's ensemble when I was in middle school. I used to do like performances at family friend events like when i was a little kid music has always been a big thing for me and so um the way i looked at it it, it wasn't just a way for me to get quick views it was more of like a way for me to really explore you know what's what's been kind of bubbling up inside for a long time and so uh yeah i, I view it really a lot different than just a quick gimmick right i think when a lot of influencers start to do music it's like oh okay like is he just doing this for cloud is he just you know but at the yeah. end of the day like no music is is a gift right and i love doing it and even better now i get to glorify you know the one who created music god you know what i mean yeah so like it's just an amazing full circle journey you know i love it yeah and you know i i heard i listened to a couple of your tracks that you have up and specifically your your newest single too and like you mm -hmm. can tell like you actually know what you're doing and, mm -hmm. and it's like sometimes you click on the song, you're like, oh boy, like what what am I gonna hear? Like this person is not known for music at all. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. you know, I listened to you and he was like, Oh, like that was good. Like it wasn't yeah. like, oh, he's trying too hard, or you know, he's yeah, yeah. Like you clearly know what you're doing. So that was that was very dope. And you know, it's 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 encouraging too to be like, you know, you could see these this actual transformation in your life and it plays through the music and it plays well. Because sometimes mm -hmm. people are like, I had this transformation, so now I'm going to do this. And it's like, well, you're not actually good at that, no matter yeah. no matter what the intention was. Right, um, right, right. So it, it is cool. Yeah, um, thanks. So did you, did you lose any followers or a lot of followers due to like your, your conversion and, and starting to speak about Jesus and God? Yeah, I'm sure that probably has played a factor. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, like, you know, I don't care about followers, you know, like, right. like that's, they're not going to be with me for eternity. I mean, maybe some of them are, but like, you know, clout, money, yeah, that's going to matter on the day of judgment. You know what I mean? Like the only thing that's going to be with me for eternity is my own soul. So I don't care who hates on me for what I'm doing. Like it's. It's, it's me and Jesus at the end of the day, man. And that's the only thing that's ever going to last, right? Like, that's kind of mm -hmm. the truth about life is that so many people are are caught living for the world or they don't want to speak up about stuff because they're afraid of what the world will say. But, you know, the scripture says that Jesus chose us out of this world. If we were of the world, the world would love its own. I'm not expecting to be loved. I, I don't care about, uh, like, validation from from people here on earth the only validation i care about is the lord you know what i mean so yeah. like who cares people will unfollow people will hate on me i don't care <laughs> you know like it just doesn't matter i'm just thinking way bigger picture now you know yeah and it's super dope you seem to have like a really like nice and non like radical crazy fan base because mm -hmm. i i was i was going through your comments and a lot of people were saying that you've helped them reconnect uh, or even, or even want to see, you know, begin that. to seek God. And I was like, wow, what a, what an encouragement to you. Like this yeah. is an immediate impact on what you're doing. So like, how does that feel? And what sort of stories, if any, have you been able to like have with some of your fan base like this? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, like exactly. I've, I've, I've gotten messages like that. Like, you know, you help me grow stronger with my faith and you know i really believe that god uses people to bring people back to him and i'm just glad to be a vessel of god because i don't like i don't take any of the credit for it god's the one that gave me the holy spirit he's the one that gave me the motivation to preach to lost souls you know like this is all for him so if if god could use me to bring back you know one of the lost sheep back to him then hallelujah man like that's that's amazing that's yeah. what i'm here I, I really feel like that was the whole purpose of my life, you know, was to be born, live the secular lifestyle, gain a big fan base. And then when I went through a radical transformation, it's like people are 
people are like, oh, what what happened to Nick? You know what I mean? Like, like he's different now. And it's like, yeah, yeah once you're born again, you know, the the old the old you is dead. You know, you're a new creature in Christ. And that's just the reality of it. Is like I could never see myself going back to how I was before I was saved. And so I want that to shine on people and reflect. I want I want Christ to reflect on people through me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and that's powerful. Because at the end of the day, it's all about yeah, it's all about leading people back to Him. Man, there's a lot of deception in this world, you know, and I want to kind of get rid of it. So, so when when did goal. when did this? Um, I know you had said it happened kind of over. Uh, quarantine and and COVID, but like when was I guess the exact time frame when you when you changed your your life or you turned your life around? The exact time frame, I would say was like, I would say like summer of two thousand and twenty, like maybe mid June, July. Like I yeah, I would say around the summer, and then I started to get a lot stronger in my faith, like August. Uh, September, then October. After October, I was like, yeah, I was really solidified, you know, because yeah. the Holy Spirit was still doing a work on me. I was still kind of lukewarm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I was still dealing with, you know, still dealing, struggling with sin, living in sin, even after I was born again, you know, and um, the Holy Spirit started to convict me and started to do a new work in me. And I would say um, after October, I became like, a Christian that actually is living what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's dope. Was, uh, was there, I, I know you, you talk about having that dream and we'll, we'll get there in a second, but was there, was there like a particular moment where you like woke up one day and you were just like, Hey, like, what am I doing? Like, this is what I need to be doing. I, I had that dream and it's mm-hmm. time to like follow what I saw in that dream. Yeah. Like the dream for me, it wasn't a wake up call for me at the time, but right. once I came to the realization that Jesus is real, I definitely went back on that experience. And I'm like, Oh, it was right there the whole time. You know, mm-hmm. I just didn't, I just didn't see it. And so like, it's just a beautiful story. Cause it shows that like God never gave up on me and he hasn't given up on, you know, the viewers who are watching this. He hasn't given up on you either. You know, yeah. you're his. And so, yeah, for me, that was just kind of like, it was just kind of like a, a realization, like he's always had a calling on my life, even when I ignored it, but he wasn't done, you know? And so yeah. I obviously have, I have some purpose in this life. If you, if he kept tugging at me to, to come find him, you know what I mean? And so yeah. I want to maximize that purpose and that potential because at the end of the day, like, you know, he gave me life, you know what I mean? He gave me oxygen. He gave me everything in this world. So uh, that's just, that's the goal, man, is I'm never going to take advantage of his grace. I'm never going to, um, I'm never going to, you know, live in sin without guilt again. Like, that's just not who I am anymore, you know? And so I just hope people can understand that. And I hope people can understand that, like, you know, there's freedom in Jesus Christ. And I, I see life in a very new perspective now, a different lens. So, yeah, yeah, it, it's it's super refreshing and everything too, because everyone sort of thinks that whatever their situation they're in is like the worst thing ever, right? And there's always yeah. somebody that's going through something that's that's so much worse. Like for you yourself, you've had a lot of health issues. I, you know, I, I read up you were in the hospital for a while, but like you can look back and you're, you're still thanking God. Like, Hey, you gave me air. You gave me life. Yeah. You know, you gave me the ability to live. Thank you for that. Exactly. Um, yeah. And that's, that's a really dope attitude to have, man. Um, yeah, man. That's the, that's the, uh, attitude we're supposed to have, man. I mean, this life is a blessing, you know, this planet is a blessing. Like the fact that we're able to live in this time period is especially a blessing, you know? And so, I never want to take anything for granted, man. And, you know, I just, just so appreciative. And I feel like people need to, to start realizing, you know, how, uh, how blessed they are. 